What if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 7? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai. We mentioned that Goku and everyone else has noticed that Galaxy has been destroyed as they had no idea who was doing it and from there they went to Planet Namek since someone went and used their Dragon Balls and they used for unlimited key supply. Goku and Zamasu then sensed where this energy was coming from as they now came to a remote planet called Planet Partafu. Upon their arrival they saw that it was cooler as he also wished Frieza to come back to life and his father was there. All three of them went and they started to attack Goku, but reinforcements came as Vegeta and Broly came to aid Goku and now Vegeta went and fought with Frieza. Frieza used his platinum form but he didn't stand a chance against Vegeta as Vegeta went and killed him with his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Broly went and transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan while King Cold went and he used his golden form but he didn't stand a chance against Broly. Goku and Cooler's battle was coming close to an end but Cooler went and used his golden form with his fifth form as he's easily overpowered Goku but when he uses Kaioken, he managed to even the playing field. Cooler then decided to go and show his trump card to everyone as he is now transformed into his platinum form. Upon his transformation, they all sense just how powerful he was as his power level has skyrocketed and now the Z fighters were in a pickle. Find out inside this part. What if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai? Part 7 Cooler has now done the impossible, which no one in his race has ever done before, as he is now transformed into his fifth platinum form. Goku and Vegeta couldn't believe what they were sensing, as his power has gone to the next level. Oh my god, his power is overwhelming! Is this even real? No! I refuse to believe this mortal can pursue this much energy! It cannot be! He's stronger than that of a god! Whatever it is, we all need to deal with it now! Cooler's power was overflowing as he created a huge shockwave and now the planet was being unstable. Cooler looked towards them and said, This is the true power of our race. Only one of us can get that and that is me, which makes me unstoppable and thanks to the Dragon Ball, I have unlimited key so I can never run out of energy. I ain't even stronger than that of Beerus. You're still messing with the wrong people, Cooler. He's right. With us still in the line, we will do everything we can to end you. Not even the power of the Dragon Balls can save you now. <laughs> then bring it on, Goku and Vegeta. Show me what you got. As Goku and Vegeta went and they charged to full power, Goku went and he used his Kaioken times 25. While Vegeta powered up his Super Saiyan Blue evolution to its full and now they went and charged towards Cooler as Goku and Vegeta decided to work as a team and attack him together. While they were attacking Cooler, Cooler was holding his own against him as he dodged all of their attacks and from there he went and powered up a blast and aimed it at them. While both Goku and Vegeta powered up their own attack and they aimed it towards Cooler's attack. After some struggle they managed to get Cooler's attack dispersed but before they can react Cooler has come right next to them as he went and striked them right in their face and they got sent flying towards the rocks. Within a couple of seconds both Goku and Vegeta came right back as they were powered up to their full and they went and charged towards Cooler. They both started to go and attack him non-stop as they are doing everything they can to hold their own against Cooler but Cooler was just something else. He wasn't even phased by Goku and Vegeta and said, You are fighting with the real king. Let me show you why you don't stand any chance against me. <laughs> Do whatever you want, Cooler. We're not gonna back down. That's right. With Goku and me working together, we'll do anything to stop you from hurting this universe, Cooler. What do you say, Vegeta? Let's go at him with more power. Before anything can happen, Zamasu came from the back 
as he powered up his blade and he tried to stab Cooler, but he saw that it wasn't strong enough to even penetrate his back as Cooler looked towards Zamasu and he decked him right in his guts. With that one punch, the pressure was enough to go and pierce through Zamasu's body as he began to bleed out and from there Cooler went in three blasts towards Zamasu and it hit him head on and before he can die he said, Can I believe this mortal killed me? Goku, it is on you now! As he died right there. Upon seeing Zamasu's death got Goku and Vegeta very upset as he didn't know how to react but he saw that Cooler came and charged towards them as he strike both of them right in their face and he started to beat the shit out of Goku and Vegeta. Even with Goku and Vegeta working as a duo, it wasn't a match for Cooler since Cooler's platinum form was easily overpowering both Goku and Vegeta. Goku and Vegeta then saw that no matter how much power they use, Cooler's able to go and overpower them until Goku decided to go and give everything he had towards this last hit and said, This is going to be my last resort. I have no other choice. It's either now or never. I never thought I'll use this much power, but it's worth a shot. I think I know what you're going to do, Goku. Do whatever pleases you, but remember the result will still be the same, you weakling Saiyans. Goku went and he used his Kaioken to its fullest as he has now stacked his Kaioken times 50. Upon doing so, Goku's body began to create a lot of heat as he went straight past Cooler and before you know it, Cooler got hit in the face by Goku as he managed to land a hit. Cooler flew meters away and when he got up, he was shocked to see that Goku's power has increased this much but before Goku can come and strike him again. Cooler went and he rushed towards Goku but Goku went and used Kaioken times 55 as he tried to go and land a decisive blow on Cooler but before he can, Goku has ran out of power since Kaioken took up too much power from him. And from there, Cooler went and caught his fist and said, You are so close Saiyan. Too bad you ran out of power. As he went and decked Goku right in his face and Goku has now landed right next to Vegeta and Broly. What happened Goku? You were so close. Although my body can handle as much energy I put towards it and pressure but that doesn't mean I have unlimited key supply. I ran out of power. Darn it. What do we do now? Well Vegeta, there is this one way that we can win. Stop your bickering. It is time I destroy everything in this universe, starting with you, and from there I'm gonna go and kill everyone. I'm gonna be the strongest one to ever live. Tell me Goku, what is the way? Fusion. I'm a Kai. I know a way how to fuse I have learned while doing my Kai training. I remember Shinkai took me towards the Metamorese and they taught me something called the Fusion Dance. It is something I need to know as a Kai. Since I don't have the Patora earrings I would've used that. But we got no choice so let's do this way. Okay then teach me, let's end this bastard. Okay then you guys go and do this, I'm gonna go and hold him off. Broly went and he charged towards 100% of his power. As he rushed towards Cooler and he began to attack Cooler. But Cooler was holding his own against Broly. While that was happening, Supreme Kai and Whis has now Kai Kai to where they were fighting. As they saw everything was happening and from there they saw that Goku begun teaching Vegeta the fusion dance. While that was happening, Broly was busy attacking Cooler with everything he got just to slow him down but he saw that it wasn't enough as Cooler's new power went right past Broly and he striked him right in his face. Cooler then went and started to beat the shit out of Broly. From there he went and powered up an enormous attack and he aimed it right towards Broly. Broly went and powered up his own eraser cannon and he threw it towards Cooler's attack as he has done everything he can to hold him off but he failed and from there he got hit head on by Cooler's attack and he passed out. Cooler then went and he was about to go and destroy the entire planet but before you know it, Vegeta and Goku has now gone and fused to become one. I'm not Goku nor Vegeta, I'm Gogeta, it's over Cooler, I have come for you! What? 
Another pathetic Saiyan? Huh, it'll be fun killing you too! Every force you create has an echo! Your own bad energy will be your undoing! Oh my god! I cannot believe it! This is the very first time in history where a Kai and Destroyer in training has fused to beat an enemy! It's, it's over, Cooler! We will kill, kill you here and now! Huh, <laughs> let's see you even! Before Cooler can finish his sentence, Gogeta has come right next to Cooler as he went and kneed him right in his face and from there he went and kicked Cooler right in the guts as he followed Cooler. Cooler couldn't believe how strong Gogeta was but he wasn't worried as he went and he powered up his Nova attack and aimed it towards Gogeta but Gogeta went and stood still as he caught it and he dispersed it with his own attack and said not bad Cooler but if you want to win against us you have to go and use your full power otherwise you will die right here. <laughs> You Saiyans are nothing but cocky! I will win and destroy all of you guys here and now! Well then, let's kick it up a notch and even the playing field, what do you say, Cooler? Gogeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Rosé. This is the last form you'll ever see, Cooler. Huh, <laughs> bring it on then. As they stared to one another and now their battle has begun. Gogeta went and he rushed towards Cooler as he did the same and both of their power clashed with one another but Gogeta was easily dodging him. From there, Cooler went and tried to kick Gogeta in his guts but Gogeta went right behind him and kneed him right in his back as he came right in front of him and he started to attack him. Cooler then got angry as he went and he tried to hit Gogeta but Gogeta went and kicked him in his guts and he flew high in the air. From there, Gogeta came right behind him and strike Cooler down. Cooler then got up and said, How can he do this to me? I was the one that used the Trike Balls to make me what I am. It's simple really. What we are, we are quality, while well, you're nothing but trash. You won't find his power anywhere else. Oh my god, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is so amazing. Who would have ever thought Akai and Destroyer Fusing would become this powerful? Cooler got annoyed with Gogeta as he rushed towards him and he started to attack him with very recklessly. Gogeta dodged all of his attack and said, How sad, Cooler. You claim to be the strongest one in your race, and yet you cannot beat two mere Saiyans. Even the power of the Dragon Balls failed you. Don't you dare compare me with the likes of you! Cooler went and he powered up a Supernova Blast, and he aimed it towards Gogeta. But Gogeta stood still as he came right next to the blast, and he used all the force he had and kicked the blast away. Cooler was speechless as he couldn't comprehend just how powerful Gogeta was, and that Gogeta didn't even break a sweat and said, now it's my turn! Gogeta came super fast next to Cooler as he kneed him in his face two times and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of him. Cooler's max broke as he couldn't heal himself and before anything can happen, his body couldn't take much more damage as he was completely fatigued and he used all of his power just to hit Gogeta. Gogeta then went and kicked him in his back as he managed to go and paralyze Cooler. From there he went and powered up a new attack called Soul Punisher and he threw it right directly at Cooler as it hit him right there and he died, having Gogeta to win the battle once and for all. Cooler after transforming into a form that no one in his race has ever achieved, he yet couldn't hold his own against Goku and Vegeta as they have now fused to become Gogeta and they easily overpowered Cooler's power. As Goku and Vegeta finally put an end towards the Frieza family war. From there, Goku and Vegeta has now separated as their time has passed up and now they went and Kakai Kai to Planet Namek as Goku went and used the Dragon Balls and he wished for Zamasu to come back to a life. From there, everyone came to Supreme Kai's world as Zamasu was happy to come back to a life and from there, he went and said his goodbye to Goku as he looked towards him and said, You know when I die Goku, I lost all my hatred towards the mortals. Now I can see everything with open eyes and now I understand why you love them. Goku, I want to do everything I can to protect the mortals and keep them safe from my universe. <laughs> Way to go, Zamasu! Now you know what it feels like to be a full-fledged Kai. I'm proud of you. 
As Zamasu said his goodbye and now he has left right back to his universe. While Goku and Vegeta were there and before they can leave, Supreme Kai and Whis has come towards them and they congratulated Goku and Vegeta on their victory. Broly was amazed with how strong they were when they fused as Gogeta, while Whis looked towards him and said, Well, I think you guys are ready now to explore the universe. Hmm? The other universe? <laughs> well, I never thought about going there. I always had an imagination maybe one day I could travel and see how they are. Well then, maybe this is your time. You and Vegeta should go and visit Universe 6. After all, they are the parallel version of this universe, and that universe also has a planet called Planet Sidala. A planet full of Saiyans. What? I heard about something like that with Planet Sidala. That was actually Planet Vegeta's first name. Goku and Vegeta couldn't believe what they heard, as they has now set their mind to go to Planet Sadala and check it out. Before they can leave, they wanted to go and train with Whis so they can up their power level so they'll be prepared for anything that happens when they travel to the other universes. While Broly went right back to Earth and he spent some time with Bulma. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born A Saiyan Kai as we have Goku and Vegeta now adventuring towards Universe 6 to see the planet full of Saiyans. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out and if you haven't joined my discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z fighters.